Hi everybody, Melissa Klein here, and I am going to show you how I ink. And this is my pencil drawing, and as you can see, it's extremely rough. And uh, yet, at the same time when I do this, I feel like um, I know what I want once it's inked, but it's just a rough guideline. This is a paper I'm using, however, I believe Canson, this is really what how they're marketing it now, but it's essentially the same paper. I have it on order, uh, and I, I'll let you know. These are the tools, uh, you know, that I'm using. Um, anything from the mechanical pencil to correct my spelling mistakes to the sailor brush pen to a crow feather to uh, <laughs> brush off the boogers. And right now what I'm doing is I'm looking, you know, take a look at your eraser because a lot of times there's like goobers on your eraser and I think I use that <laughs> right now. <laughs> what you what you don't see is that I'm rubbing it off on my jeans off camera, my jeans and my, and my canvas apron. Some artists uh, will use a little piece of sandpaper, but frankly, I just never have a little piece of sandpaper handy whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff. And voila, you see how well that worked. Um, and uh, so the first thing I wanna do is just kind of wipe out anything that's just really dark where the pencil I feel will interfere. And I'm kind of cursing myself out because I'm like, I think I probably did use a mechanical pencil, probably a 0.9, which is a very, very thick one, but I, I tend to get it with the soft leads and I'm like, why, why, why? I should have used just a regular. I also love, and I, this is the, uh, the pencil I used or something probably like it because I think this is a 0.7. Uh, but the one thing I love about these Pentel mechanical pencils is that they have those erasers that you can extend out. So that allows for a lot of, room for error and um and so i can go back in there into the details and get those little boogers off now sailor brush pen uh absolutely love these now i decided to use this because i'm not planning on adding color to this comic uh, or at least not this page and i love the fact that they have cartridges uh that i can replace that said they have special cartridges that you can uh, get that you uh, are not universal, so you have to get special cartridges. I did find, because you know I pen geek, is um, I did find that you can get a Sailor brush pen refillable cartridge, uh, and I've been afraid to use it, so <laughs> um, that'll be for another day. So uh, what I'm doing here is if you're left-handed like I am, and also, it, or and or you have a funny grip like I do, um, in fact, my grip looks more normal than normal because uh, I'm filming and I'm trying to keep my head out of the way and I've got my arm kind of stretched out away from, from normally where I would be like hunched over with it like on my lap is how I like to work with that stuff. Uh, and I also, how I work in general is, I will turn the paper on quite a lot of times I'll even be working if not upside down like nearly like sideways and 90 degree angles so but for the purposes of filming I'm keeping you know everything trying to tape everything down and keep it still um, I'm really thinking about line quality how can I make my line quality interesting how can I make my lines feel accurate how can i you know there's nothing wrong with how can i make it interesting and how can i also tell the story and move it forward so like on this thing in this scene um i'm just like finding out like they're they're telling me that i have an abnormal mammogram and i'm essentially having a meltdown and um that's me <laughs> in case you can't tell uh with my hands over my my face and the the technician is being extremely kind i'm kind of debating like do i really need to add a bunch of shading to her i'm not really so sure um but i do feel like i do want to like stress the fact that the hands uh over my face are really kind of the most interesting thing uh and tell the story the most um but every little piece kind of adds to it. Like, it's important to me that I show that she's female. Like, she was kind of, she's kind of round and, you know, a little stout, um, but so kind and I'm so grateful to her. And so I feel like she had brought a feminine compassion uh, to that. Um, now, I do my lettering 
backwards. When I do the pencils, I write forwards, but when I go to do the inking on it, and this is true of chalkboards as well, uh, or signage painting, uh, that I will go backwards so that I don't drag my hand through things. Now, if you're right-handed, then you have nothing to worry about. If you're left-handed, you might want to try this. But whatever works for you is what works for you. Um, and for the word shitty, I had to like kind of double over it with it. Now, um, this next part, what I'm going to do is zoom in and show you a little bit more about lettering. So come to the dark side. Thank you for watching.